This is a review of The White Book by Machiavelli, published 2007. So I'm doing a video series on Machiavelli, The White Book, because nobody on YouTube's done it yet. I've seen that there's two other videos on The White Book, but it's really not a breakdown. So that's what this video series is going to be about, is breaking down and decoding The White Book by Machiavelli. It begins with a prologue. The prologue states that it takes place in Havana, Cuba. It reads Havana County side, but I think it's a typo and it was meant to say countryside, Havana countryside. The prologue is written in first person by Star. We can presume that Star is Tupac's son. He says he saw his dad, Tupac, always carrying a snow white leather bound journal everywhere and wondered what was in it. There's a line from Hail Mary where uh, it's presumed that it's Tupac says, run quick, see what do we have here now? Which is also, I guess, a biblical line, but in this context, it's from the Machiavelli song, Hail Mary, run quick, see what do we have here now? Tupac asks Star if he had any questions, even with all the info floating out there, which I guess is implying he's got any questions about like all those things stories about Tupac being dead, Tupac faking his death. You know, because on the song Blasphemy, Tupac does say, don't start that blasphemy. I remember what my pops told me. The prologue continues where Star says he had checked every bit and piece of information put out there, I guess, regarding Tupac. Tupac shows Star the white book and asks, what do you know about this? Tupac says he wanted to make and, and I, when I say Tupac, it's it doesn't say Tupac. It's it's the Star's father. It says Tupac wanted to make a book of his life, but the White Book is a story about his fabled generations and its music, the things that affected them and him, and the obstacles that happened during their war, and what they did to make it through. And this implies that the White Book is not a book about Tupac per se but it's about the world that Tupac grew up in and lived in. And then he kind of holds the book up and says, In my hand is history, and it's important to know where you came from so you can know where you're going. And this is a piece of wisdom for anybody out there. Regardless of what you think about history, world history, American history, it's important to know at least the fabled story of history. Because if you don't know the past, you can't know the present or the future. The more I learn about history, the more the grander picture of all reality becomes. And like I said, granted, some of these stories are false, but the context that you gain, the historical context, is very important. The author who wrote the white book, as well as Tupac, would, would definitely say to learn history. It's a fascinating story anyway. Blasphemy. The prologue feels loosely based on the song Blasphemy, from the Machiavelli Don Caluminati Seven Day Theory album. One of the lines on the chorus to that is, I remember what my pops told me. And the prologue is Star speaking with Tupac. Now, obviously, the Machiavelli song is, I guess, Tupac talking about speaking with his father or just in general, some mythical father. But I remember what my pops told me. I, I guess the author kind of brought that song Blasphemy into into like a book format and that song blasphemy is to me the most important song on the machiavelli album i know others would disagree but blasphemy is is a phenomenal track on that cd there are lines from the machiavelli songs throughout the book when star receives the book he says i remember touching the book and being instantly beguiled imagine jewels being handed to an innocent child that's from the song blasphemy Imagine jewels being handed to an innocent child. Star mentions that his dad, Tupac, drinks absinthe because it's hard to smoke with one lung. And this follows the Tupac had a lung surgically removed uh, theory for when he was in the hospital. Prologue chapter end. Near the end of the prologue, Star asks his dad, Tupac, to read the white book to him. Tupac lights his Cuban cigar and begins reading. The prologue ends saying this be the truest shit i ever wrote which is a reference to against all odds from the machiavelli album 
But, you know, how memorable of a line was that? Now, the most important part of this whole white book is to study and decipher who the characters are. So the characters I've identified from the prologue are Star, the mother, the father, who we could assume is Tupac, Juan, Carlos, and Selma. If you think I left anybody out, please put them in the comments below. If you know the identity of any of these characters, especially in the chapters upcoming, also leave those in the comments. The white book. And another reason why I'm doing this video is that this book is thick. I know most of you guys aren't going to read this. Thickness. It's... How many pages is it? It's, it's over 400 pages long. To be specific, it's 412 pages long. So, I know most of you aren't going to read it. I'll be reading it on my weekends when I go sit at the pool. Throughout these videos on the white book, you'll get a better idea of what's inside these books because I know... Ain't nobody trying to read 400 plus pages. So if the author's watching this video, what were you thinking, bruh? 400 plus pages. You know, hip hop ain't trying to read all that. I, I, Professor Griff can't get people to read 100 book, 100 page books, and you got 400 plus pages. I'm just playing, dude. I'll read. I, I read books all the time. And feel free to check out the other videos I got on this channel. They're all thought provoking. If you're into solving the Tupac theory, and you're into conspiracy theory or you're just into deep thought, consciousness, and philosophizing about our nature, you definitely want to check out my channel because that's what I talk about. And I bring that up because it does relate to Tupac because this the white book is all about, it's, it's not just about Tupac, it's taking Tupac and basically showing the path that Tupac unlocks. If you think about Tupac's last album, it was called Machiavelli, the Don Culuminati, the Seven Day Theory. And at the time, most people didn't know about the Illuminati. And he was saying he was killing the Illuminati. And on the last interview, he explains why, because he says that people use the Illuminati as a crutch on why they can't succeed. And he's just squashing that, he's killing that. But through research in Tupac, you end up learning a whole bunch of other stuff. And that's what the white book is. It's, it's like, I feel like it's the author's journey through research, trying to crack the seven day theory. If you want to get a copy of this, and follow along. I put a link. The guy sells this on Amazon. So the link to the Amazon to purchase this book. I bought this. I just got it in the mail last week. It says a novel by Machiavelli. The White Book. $22.95 this retails for. Subscribe to this channel and join in on the discussion of The White Book by Machiavelli.